This is a list of Game & Watch games released by Nintendo, along with their format and date of release, if known. See lists of video games for related lists. Several of these games were collected and re-released as ports for the Game & Watch Gallery series for Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. The games also were re-released as standalone titles for the Nintendo Mini Classics series in the late 1990s. Digital versions of the games were created as DSiWare which was released for Nintendo DSi in 2009 2010 internationally and for Nintendo 3DS in 2011. Models Games Topic Ball Ball originally known as Toss Up in North America is a game and watch game released as a part of the Silver Series on April 28, 1980. It was the first game and watch game. It is a single screen single player game and watch. In game A, the player tosses two balls in the air. As the balls fall, the player must catch and toss them up again. One point is earned for each successful catch. A dropped ball will display a broken ball and end the game. The object is to continuously catch the balls that fall and throw them back up, as in juggling. In game B, the player must juggle three balls, and each successful catch rewards ten points instead of one. It was re-released exclusively via Club Nintendo to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Game & Watch, with the Club Nintendo logo on the back. Unlike the original release, this version includes an option to mute the game by pressing the time button during gameplay. For members of the Japanese club Nintendo, after an announcement in November 2009, it was shipped in April 2010 to Platinum members. For members of the North American club Nintendo, it was available for 1200 coins from February 2011. For members of the European Club Nintendo, it was available for 7,500 stars from November 2011. Ball was recreated in Game Boy Gallery and Game and Watch Gallery for Game Boy and Game and Watch Gallery 2 for Game Boy Color. It was recreated as a DSiWare game that was released for Nintendo DSi on July 15, 2009 in Japan, on April 19, 2010 in the United States and April 23, 2010 in Europe, and for Nintendo 3DS on July 7, 2011 in Europe. It also appears as a minigame for the Game Boy Camera, where players can paste images of their own face over that of the juggler. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watches throws reference ball. Topic Flagman Flagman originally known as Flagman in North America is a game and watch game released as a part of the Silver series on June 5, 1980. It is a single screen single player game and watch. The object is to repeat the pattern of numbers on the flags held up by the on-screen character Mr. Game and Watch. A life is lost each time the player pushes the wrong button or hits the correct number too late. The game ends when 3 lives are lost. Game B requires the character to push the right number as quickly as possible, before time runs out. Flagman was recreated in Game Boy Gallery and Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy and Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color. A version of Flagman becomes available in Wario Land 2 once the player has achieved 100% completion of the game. It is included in WarioWare, touched, as a microgame called Flagman Game & Watch. It was recreated as a DSiWare game that was released for Nintendo DSi on July 15, 2009 in Japan, on April 19, 2010 in the United States and April 23, 2010 in Europe, and for Nintendo 3DS on July 7, 2011 in Europe. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has an attack which has him hit opponents with a flag, referencing Flagman. Topic Vermin Vermin originally known as the Exterminator in North America is a game and watch game released as a part of the Silver series on July 10, 1980 and sold 500,000 units throughout its lifetime. It is a single screen single player game and watch. In Vermin, moles pop out of the ground and try to get into the player's garden. The player has to hit the moles with a hammer to keep them out of the garden. Vermin was recreated in Game Boy Gallery and Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy and Game & Watch Gallery 2 for Game Boy Color. In WarioWare, Inc., Mega Microgame Dollar, there is a microgame called Vermin in which Wario has to whack a mole with a hammer. 
It was recreated as a DSiWare game that was released for Nintendo DSi on July 15, 2009 in Japan, on April 5, 2010 in the United States and April 9, 2010 in Europe, and for Nintendo 3DS on July 7, 2011 in Europe. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has several attacks which has him hit opponents on either side with two hammers, referencing vermin. Topic Fire Fire originally known as Fireman Fireman in North America is a game and watch game released as a part of the Silver series on July 31, 1980 and as a part of the widescreen series on December 4, 1981. It is a single screen single player game and watch. The player controls two firemen who carry a trampoline and must catch people who fall from a burning building and bounce them into a waiting ambulance. The player is awarded three points for each person who reaches the ambulance, and loses one of their three lives for each person who hits the ground. Fire was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy, Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color and Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. It was also re-released as part of the Nintendo Mini Classics. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has a move called Fire, which has two firemen launch him upwards with a trampoline, referencing Fire. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, he then floats down with a parachute, referencing Parachute. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, the stage Flat Zone 2 shifts between several layouts, one of which is based on fire. In Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, the stage Flat Zone X shifts between several layouts, one of which is based on fire. Topic Judge Judge is a game and watch game released as a part of the Silver series on October 4, 1980. It is a single screen game and watch for either one or two players. Players control two figures who hold hammers in their hands and hold up numbers. The one with the higher number must attack, and the one with the lower number must flee. An attack may be performed before the number is held up, as a gamble. Judge was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy and Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color. It was recreated as a DSiWare game that was released on July 15, 2009 in Japan, on March 22, 2010 in the United States and on March 26, 2010 in Europe, and for Nintendo 3DS on July 7, 2011 in Europe. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has a move called Judge, which has him hit opponents with a hammer that has an additional effect dependent on a random number from 1 to 9 that appears above his head, referencing Judge. Topic Manhole Manhole is a game and watch game released as a part of the Gold series on January 29, 1981, and as a part of the new widescreen series on August 24, 1983. It was the first game in the Gold series. It is a single screen single player game and watch. The player must prevent pedestrians from falling into one of four sewers by temporarily bridging the open gaps with a manhole cover. The new widescreen version of Manhole was recreated in Game Boy Gallery and Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy and Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. This version of Manhole was one of the cards included with purchase of the Nintendo e-reader. The new widescreen version of Manhole was recreated as a DSiWare game that was released on August 19, 2009 in Japan, on April 5, 2010 in the United States and April 9, 2010 in Europe, and for Nintendo 3DS on July 7, 2011 in Europe. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has an attack which has him hit opponents with a manhole cover, referencing manhole. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, the stage flat zone is based on a number of Game & Watch games, including Manhole. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, the stage flat zone 2 shifts between several layouts, one of which is based on Manhole. In Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, the stage flat zone X shifts between several layouts, one of which is based on Manhole. Topic Helmet Helmet, known as Headache in the United Kingdom, is a game and watch game released as a part of the Gold series on February 21, 1981. It is a single-screen single-player game and watch. Tools fall from the sky, but there is a house on the right side of the screen. The player must guide the character towards the house, and dodge the tools until the door opens. Helmet was recreated in Game and Watch Gallery for Game Boy and Game and Watch Gallery 2 for Game Boy Color. 
It was recreated as a DSiWare game that was released for Nintendo DSi on July 29, 2009 in Japan, on April 5, 2010 in the United States and April 9, 2010 in Europe, and for Nintendo 3DS on July 7, 2011 in Europe. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has an attack which has him hit opponents with a helmet, referencing Helmet. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, the stage flat zone is based on a number of Game & Watch games, including Helmet. In Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, the stage flat zone X shifts between several layouts, one of which is based on Helmet. Topic Lion Lion is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the Gold series on April 29, 1981. It is a single-screen single-player Game & Watch with a maroon body and a gold faceplate. The player is a lion tamer who must prevent the lion from escaping from its cage. Lion was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy and Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has an attack which has him hit opponents with a chair, referencing Lion. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, the stage flat zone 2 shifts between several layouts, one of which is based on Lion. In Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, the stage flat zone X shifts between several layouts, one of which is based on Lion. Topic Parachute Parachute is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the widescreen series on June 19, 1981. It was the first game in the widescreen series. It is a single-screen single-player Game & Watch. The player controls a character in a boat and has to prevent parachutists from landing in shark-infested waters. A life is lost every time the player fails to do this. In Game B, the parachutes can get stuck in trees. Parachute was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy, Game & Watch Gallery 2 for Game Boy Color, Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance and Game & Watch Collection 2 for the Nintendo DS a Club Nintendo exclusive. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, Mr. Game & Watch has a move which opens a parachute, referencing Parachute. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, Mr. Game & Watch has a move called Fire, which has two firemen launch him upwards with a trampoline, referencing Fire. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, after performing Fire in the same way as in Super Smash Bros. Melee, he then floats down with a parachute, referencing Parachute. In March 2010, Takara Tomi released officially licensed Game & Watch styled keychains based on three different widescreen Game & Watch models, one of which was Parachute. It does not actually run the game, instead just displaying a demo screen. While the game cannot be played, the speed at which the demo runs can be adjusted. The batteries are recharged with solar panels on the unit. Topic Octopus Octopus, known as Mysteries of the Sea and Mysteries of the Deep in the United Kingdom, is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the widescreen series on July 16, 1981. It is a single-screen single-player Game & Watch. The object is to recover treasure from a sunken ship without getting caught by an octopus. The player must aim his diver underwater by jumping off the side of a boat. Each time the octopus touches the player, one life is lost. A point is awarded for each portion of treasure retrieved from a sunken ship, and three additional points are awarded for evading the octopus a second time and returning to the boat. The game speeds as it progresses, and additional lives are granted at 200 and 500 points. In Game B, the octopus is quicker and there are more hazards. Octopus was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy, Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance and Game & Watch Collection 2 for the Nintendo DS a Club Nintendo exclusive. It was also re-released as part of the Nintendo Mini Classics. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has an attack which has him hit opponents with a diving helmet, referencing Octopus. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, Mr. Game & Watch's final smash is Octopus, which has him transform into the octopus and hit opponents with his tentacles, referencing Octopus. In Nintendo Land, the octopus and the diver appear in the Octopus Dance minigame. In March 2010, Takara Tomi released officially licensed Game & Watch styled keychains based on three different widescreen Game & Watch models, one of which was Octopus. It does not actually run the game, instead just displaying a demo screen. While the game cannot be played, the speed at which the demo runs can be adjusted. 
The batteries are recharged with solar panels on the unit. Topic Popeye Popeye is a game and watch game released as a part of the wide screen series on August 5, 1981, as a part of the table top series on August 17, 1983, and as a part of the panorama series on August 30, 1983. It is a single screen single player game and watch. Hirakaza Tanaka composed the game music. The player controls the eponymous Popeye, who has to catch objects thrown by Olive Oyl, while at the same time avoiding Bluto's attacks. If Popeye is upright in the center of the boat, he's safe from Bluto's attacks, but he may miss objects thrown by Olive Oyl. The game speeds up as it progresses, and Olive Oyl will start throwing more than one objects at the same time. Topic Chef Chef is a game and watch game released as a part of the wide screen series on September 8, 1981. It is a single screen single player game and watch. The player controls a chef who flips various pieces of food, including sausage and fish, into the air with a pan. Failure to keep the food airborne causes a mouse to steal the food off the floor and the player to use up one miss. The game ends with the player's third miss. A cat often pokes the left piece of food, which holds it in place for a small amount of time and makes it harder for the player to guess when the piece will be flippable. The game speeds up as it progresses. In game A, the player must flip three items of food. In game B, the player must flip four food items. Chef was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy, Game & Watch Gallery 2 for Game Boy Color and Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. Chef is unlockable in Personal Trainer, cooking for the Nintendo DS after the player has cooked a certain number of meals. It was recreated as a DSiWare game that was released on July 29, 2009 in Japan, on March 22, 2010 in the United States, and March 26, 2010 in Europe, and for Nintendo 3DS on July 7, 2011 in Europe. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has a move called Chef, which has him flip food out of pan, referencing Chef. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, the stage flat zone 2 shifts between several layouts, one of which is based on Chef. In Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, the stage flat zone X shifts between several layouts, one of which is based on Chef. In March 2010, Takara Tomy released officially licensed Game & Watch styled keychains based on three different widescreen Game & Watch models, one of which was Chef. It does not actually run the game, instead just displaying a demo screen. While the game cannot be played, the speed at which the demo runs can be adjusted. The batteries are recharged with solar panels on the unit. Topic Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse is a game and watch game released as a part of the widescreen series on October 9, 1981, and as a part of the Panorama series on February 28, 1984. It is a single screen single player game and watch. In the widescreen version, the player controls Mickey Mouse whose task it is to catch eggs as they roll down four slopes, two on either side of the screen. If an egg is dropped it lands on the floor releasing a chick who walks away off screen. The eggs fall ever more quickly as the total caught closes in on multiples of 100. In game A the misses are reset every 100 caught eggs. In game B the number and rate of descent of eggs is increased with misses only being reset at multiples of 500. Missing three eggs between resets will end the game. Periodically, Minnie Mouse peers out of the window. If Mickey misses an egg while Minnie is present on screen, the miss counts as half. The gameplay is similar to Egg. The panorama version of the game is completely different. In this game, the player controls Mickey Mouse, who is performing acrobatics in a circus. The player must move Mickey left and right to catch batons, whilst avoiding flaming torches. The speed the objects fall increases upon the total score closing in on multiples of 100. If the player misses a baton or touches a flaming torch, a life is lost. After three lives are lost, the game ends. Once the player reaches 300 points, all misses are cancelled. If the player has no misses, they will receive double points until the next miss. The gameplay is similar to Donkey Kong Circus. Topic Egg Egg is a game and watch game released as a part of the wide screen series on October 9, 1981. It is a single screen single player game and watch. The player character is a fox who waits outside a hen house. The fox must catch the eggs that fall out of the side of the hen house, for one point each. Three lives are given. A life is lost for each egg missed, or half of a life if the egg is missed while a hen appears. 
The game ends when all three lives are lost. The gameplay is similar to Mickey Mouse wide screen. Egg was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color. Topic Turtle Bridge Turtle Bridge is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the Wide Screen series on February 1, 1982. It is a single-screen single-player Game & Watch. The player uses a line of five turtles as stepping stones to transfer baggage from one side of a river to the other. Once a package is tossed to a colleague on the other side, the player can return to the home bank to fetch the next package. The turtles are not motionless but will dive to feed on any fish within reach, and they dive more frequently as the game progresses. The player may need to wait for the colleague on the far bank and cannot return to the home bank while carrying a package. Two to ten points are awarded, depending on how quickly the package is delivered. It takes approximately one hour of game play to accrue 1,000 points. Unlike other similar games, the scoreboard can display scores past 1,000. Lives are lost if the explorer lands on a turtle that dives. A life can be recovered at the score levels 200 and 500. The game ends when all lives are lost. In game A, the middle turtle of the five has no fish swimming in reach and never dives unless the explorer waits too long on its back, at which point fish appear and the turtle dives. In game B, all turtles will dive from the outset, while the colleague appears less frequently. Turtle Bridge was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy and Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has an attack which has him hit opponents with a turtle, referencing Turtle Bridge. <laughs> Fire Attack Fire Attack is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the Wide Screen series on March 26, 1982. It is a single-screen single-player Game & Watch. The main character uses a tomahawk-type weapon to protect a fort from burning. The top row of enemies are Indian chiefs who throw firesticks, and the bottom row of enemies are traditional Game & Watch characters who try to set fire to the fort with a match. Two points are earned for each fire blocked. Three misses are allowed, which occur each time the fort catches fire. All misses are erased at 200 points and again at 500. If there aren't any misses at these times, five points are awarded per hit for a period of time. Fire Attack was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy and Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has an attack which has him hit opponents with a firestick, referencing Fire Attack. In Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Mr. Game & Watch's animations were updated to reflect individual frames from the original games, including gaining a feathered headband when using the move based on Fire Attack. The controversy following this discovery prompted Nintendo to apologize for the potentially offensive stereotype and announced that the animation would be changed in a post-release patch. Topic Snoopy Tennis Snoopy Tennis is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the Wide Screen series on April 28, 1982. Charlie Brown throws and hits a ball towards Snoopy, who must hit the ball back. Lucy sometimes will hit the ball to Snoopy. It was re-released as part of the Nintendo Mini Classics. Topic Oil Panic Oil Panic is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the Multi-Screen series on May 28, 1982. It was the first game in the Multi-Screen series. It is a dual-screen single-player Game & Watch with a white case. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. The player controls a station helper who uses a bucket to catch drops of oil from a leaking pipe and empties the bucket into an oil drum. Missing a drop from the pipe or missing the oil drum causes the player to lose a life. The player has four lives, rather than the usual three. Oil Panic was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy, Game & Watch Gallery 2 for Game Boy Color and Game & Watch Collection for the Nintendo DS a Club Nintendo exclusive. Oil Panic is also one of the microgames featured in the collection presented by 9 Volt in WarioWare, Touched. In Europe, it was also re-released as part of the Nintendo Mini Classics. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has a move called Oil Panic, which has him collect energy-based attacks in an oil bucket to throw at opponents as oil later, referencing Oil Panic. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, the stage flat zone is based on a number of Game & Watch games, including Manhole. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, the stage flat zone 2 shifts between several layouts, one of which is based on Oil Panic. 
In Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, the stage flat zone X shifts between several layouts, one of which is based on Oil Panic. Topic Donkey Kong Donkey Kong is a game and watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on June 3, 1982. It is a dual-screen single-player game and watch with an orange body. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. This game was also the first game and watch to feature a directional pad. Donkey Kong was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 2 for Game Boy Color and Game & Watch Collection for the Nintendo DS a Club Nintendo exclusive. It was also re-released as part of the Nintendo Mini Classics. Topic Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong Jr. is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the new widescreen series on October 26, 1982, as a part of the Table Top series on April 28, 1983, as a part of the Panorama series on October 7, 1983. It was the first game in the new widescreen series. It is a single-screen single-player Game & Watch. Hirakaza Tanaka composed the game music. Donkey Kong Jr. was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 2 and Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color and Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. It was recreated as a DSiWare game that was released for Nintendo DSi on August 19, 2009 in Japan, on April 19, 2010 in the United States and April 23, 2010 in Europe, and for Nintendo 3DS on July 7, 2011 in Europe. It was also re-released as part of the Nintendo Mini Classics. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has an attack which has him hit opponents with a key, referencing Donkey Kong Jr. <laughs> Mickey & Donald Mickey & Donald is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on November 12, 1982. It is a dual-screen single-player Game & Watch. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. Hirakaza Tanaka composed the game music, the goal is put out the fire in a three-story apartment building as quickly as possible. Donald operates the hose, while Mickey runs the pump. Bulges in the hose give more water for Donald to use, but require Mickey to leave the pump to stop leaks. Topic Greenhouse Greenhouse is a game and watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on December 16, 1982. It is a dual-screen single-player game and watch. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. The object is to protect the flowers at each corner of the screen from enemies using a can of bug spray. Worms attack the top flowers while spiders approach the bottom flowers. The game ends when three flowers have been eaten. Greenhouse was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 2 and Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color and Game & Watch Collection for the Nintendo DS a Club Nintendo exclusive. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has an attack which has him spray opponents with a can of bug spray, referencing Green House. This is considered by some retro gamers to be the first appearance of Stanley the Bugman, the lead character in the 1983 arcade game Donkey Kong 3. In that title, the character defends his greenhouse from Donkey Kong and insects using a can of bug spray. The character artwork between the two games is also similar in design. Topic Donkey Kong 2 Donkey Kong 2 is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on March 7, 1983. It is a dual-screen single-player Game & Watch with a brown body. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. Hirakaza Tanaka composed the game music, Donkey Kong 2 was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color. Topic Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on March 14, 1983. It is a dual-screen single-player Game & Watch with a maroon body. It opens like a Japanese book to the right, with a left and right screen. Mario and Luigi are working in a bottling plant, on either side of several stacked conveyor belts. The object of the game is to move boxes of bottles through the machine without dropping any. Each brother can climb a ladder to one of three positions. Mario receives a box at the bottom right, and must be in his lowest position to move it into the bottling machine. The box moves left through the machine, to Luigi, who must be in his lowest position to move it to the next level, which moves it to the right, to Mario's middle position, who raises it to the next level. The box moves to Luigi's middle position, then to Mario's highest position, and finally to Luigi's highest position, where Luigi throws the box onto a truck. 
When the truck is full, the brothers have a short break, before getting back to work. Successfully moving a box up one level earns the player one point, and loading the truck with eight boxes earns ten points, for a total of 58 points for all the boxes in the truck. However, if a brother isn't there to catch a box, it falls to the floor and breaks, angering the brother's supervisor, resulting in a miss. The third miss ends the game. Mario Brothers was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy, Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color, and Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch's forward air has him hit opponents with a package, referencing Mario Brothers. Topic Mario's Cement Factory Mario's Cement Factory is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the Table Top series on April 28, 1983 and as a part of the new widescreen series on June 16, 1983. It was the first game in the Table Top series. It is a single-screen single-player Game & Watch. Hirokazu Tanaka composed the game sounds. Mario's Cement Factory was recreated in Game Boy Gallery and Game and Watch Gallery for Game Boy and Game and Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. It was recreated as a DSiWare game that was released for Nintendo DSi on August 19, 2009 in Japan, on March 22, 2010 in the United States, and March 26, 2010 in Europe, and for Nintendo 3DS on July 7, 2011 in Europe. It was also re-released as part of the Nintendo Mini Classics. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch grabs opponents with a similar pose to how Mario grabs levers, referencing Mario's Cement Factory. Topic Snoopy Snoopy is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the Table Top series on June 5, 1983, and as a part of the Panorama series on August 30, 1983. It was the first game in the Panorama series. It is a single-screen single-player game and watch. Hirokazu Tanaka composed the game music. Topic Rain Shower Rain Shower is a game and watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on August 10, 1983. It is a dual-screen single-player game and watch. It opens like a book, with a left and right screen. The player moves clothing away from falling raindrops by pulling on a clothes line. In Game B, a bird may swoop down and move the clothing. Rain Shower was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 2 for Game Boy Color and Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. Topic Lifeboat Lifeboat is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on October 25, 1983. It is a dual-screen single-player Game & Watch with a light orange case. It opens like a book, with a left and right screen. A burning ocean liner is displayed, and the player pulls a raft through shark-infested waters to catch the people who fall from the ship. The rafts can hold up to four people, and can be emptied no matter how many people are in them. A point is awarded for each rescue. The alarm on is indicated by a bucket of water on the cliffside, and when it goes off, a man uses the bucket to attempt to douse the fire. Game A mode controls two rafts, one on each side of the screen, which move together when the left and right buttons are pressed. In Game B there is only one raft, which can move from one side of the screen to the other. Lifeboat was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 2 for Game Boy Color and Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. Topic Mario's Bombs Away Mario's Bombs Away is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the Panorama series on November 13, 1983. It is a single-screen single-player Game & Watch. It features an unlit color LCD screen that faces downward in order to expose the translucent rear to an external light source, such as daylight. Hirokazu Tanaka composed the game music. The player character is a military clad Mario who delivers bombs from left to right, and must keep them away from flaming oil spills and enemy torches. Action is viewed in a mirror that reflects the screen. Mario's Bombs Away was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. Topic Pinball Pinball is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on December 5, 1983. It is a dual-screen single-player Game & Watch. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. Hirokazu Tanaka composed the game music, the player controls two flippers on the bottom screen and two on the top screen. Other pinball objects include bumpers, outlanes, rollover lanes, kickbacks and plungers. Pinball was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color. 
Topic Spitball Sparky Spitball Sparky is a game and watch game released as a part of the Super Color series on February 7, 1984. It was the first game in the Super Color series. It is a single screen single player game and watch. Hirakaza Tanaka composed the game music. Spitball Sparky works similarly to Breakout, where a ball moves across the screen and is propelled by the player, blowing it upwards as long as it is directly above the player in the purple space. If all blocks are eliminated fast enough, a bonus bar at the top would add 5 points per segment, the most being 20 points. Along the top row are red blocks, which require two hits to destroy. If the player eliminates all but the red blocks, and then hits each red block once to make them flash, it awards more bonus points. Spitball Sparky was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 2 and Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color. In the Super Smash Bros. series, Mr. Game & Watch has an attack which has him blow opponents upwards, referencing Spitball Sparky. Topic Crab Grab Crab Grab is a game and watch game released as a part of the Super Color series on February 21, 1984. It is a single screen single player game and watch. Crabs emerge from four differently colored columns along the bottom of the screen, and settle at the top. The objective is to avoid being in front of the crab, and to push the crabs from the bottom to prevent them from mounting on the screen. Points are earned by pushing and eliminating crabs. The game ends when the player has been bitten three times. Player movement is in all four directions up, down, left, right. The A and B games had similar objectives, but with slightly different speeds. Topic Boxing Boxing, known as Punch Out, in the United States, is a game and watch game released as a part of the Micro vs. series on July 31, 1984. It was the first game in the Micro vs. series. It is a single screen two player game and watch. It is similar to Urban Champion, although it was released shortly before the NES title. Boxing was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery for Game Boy and Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. Topic Donkey Kong 3 Donkey Kong 3 is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the Micro vs. series on August 20, 1984. Donkey Kong 3 was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. Topic Donkey Kong Circus Donkey Kong Circus is a game and watch game released as a part of the Panorama series on September 6, 1984. It is a single screen two player game and watch with a lilac body. The gameplay is similar to Mickey Mouse Panorama. Donkey Kong Circus was recreated in Game and Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color. Topic Donkey Kong Hockey Donkey Kong Hockey is a game and watch game released as a part of the Micro vs. series on November 13, 1984. It is a single screen two player game and watch. Donkey Kong Hockey was recreated in Game and Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color. Topic Black Jack Black Jack is a game and watch game released as a part of the multi screen series on February 15, 1985. It is a dual-screen single-player game and watch with a maroon body. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. Game A is a blackjack game. The dealer's hand is on the upper screen and the player's hand is on the bottom screen. Four buttons are available, double down, bet times 10, hit, bet times 1, stand and enter. The player starts with a $500 bankroll and can bet up to $100 each hand. Pair splitting is not allowed, and bets must be locked before shuffling is done, contrary to real-world blackjack rules. In Game B, the player starts with $500 as five numbers cycle in a random pattern on the bottom screen. Pressing the Enter button causes the numbers to stop one at a time. There is a $50 reward if all five stop on the same number, or a deduction of $25 if not. Topic Tropical Fish Tropical Fish is a game and watch game released as a part of the new widescreen series on July 8, 1985. It is a single screen single player game and watch. The player uses a fishbowl to catch fish that jump out of a tank and must move them into a tank on the other side. The game ends when three fish are missed. Tropical Fish was recreated in Game and Watch Gallery 2 for Game Boy Color and Game and Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, Mr. Game & Watch has an attack which has him hit opponents with a fish bowl, referencing Tropical Fish. 
Topic Squish Squish is a game and watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on April 17, 1986. It is a dual-screen single-player game and watch. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. It is similar to Devil World. Topic Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. is a game and watch game released as a part of the Crystal Screen series on June 25, 1986, and as a part of the new Wide Screen series on March 8, 1988. It was the first game in the Crystal Screen series. It is a single screen single player game and watch. It was also made available as a prize for winners of the Famicom's F1 Grand Prix tournament on August 1, 1987. It is a single-screen single-player game and watch with a yellow case. It came in a plastic box modeled after Disc Coon, the character Nintendo used to advertise the Famicom Disk System. This edition is the rarest of all game and watch models, as only 10,000 units of this version were produced and it was never available for retail sale. Mario has to go through levels to save Princess Toadstool, also known as Peach, similar to the NES game. Super Mario Brothers it was re-released as part of the Nintendo Mini Classics 1998 in Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color in 1999. Topic Climber Climber is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the Crystal Screen series on July 4, 1986, and as a part of the new Wide Screen series on March 8, 1988. It is a single-screen single-player game & Watch. It is similar to Ice Climber. A boy known as the Climber sets out for the Block Mountain where the Blockmen live to train as a warrior. Lord Meiji, who he meets on the way, grants him a pair of boots which enable him to jump very high, armor that can break ceilings, and a headband which will help him find a sword that can defeat Dragalo the Dragon. The Climber pursues his quest with the assistance of the mysterious bird Hentori. The objective of the game is to control Climber by jumping through a tower of platforms and landing on them, and by avoiding monsters and Blockmen. The goal is to either grab Hentori or slash Dragalo while achieving the highest score possible. Climber was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color and Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. Topic Balloon Fight Balloon Fight is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the Crystal Screen series on November 19, 1986, and as a part of the new Wide Screen series on March 8, 1988. It is a single-screen single-player Game & Watch. Balloon Fight was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 3 for Game Boy Color. Topic Bomb Sweeper Bomb Sweeper is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on June 15, 1987. It is a dual-screen single-player Game & Watch. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. The player character is John Solver, who must navigate a maze to defuse bombs set by Jack. When playing on game A mode, the maze begins to move from left to right after a certain number of bombs are defused, and the player must find an exit back to the surface. The top screen is merely cosmetic, and shows the boss who sends the player character into the underground maze. Unlike in most game and watch games, lost lives are not reset when a player reaches 300 points. Bomb Sweeper was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. Topic Safebuster Safebuster is a game and watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on January 12, 1988. It is a dual-screen single-player game and watch. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. A security guard on the bottom screen uses a tube to catch bombs thrown by a bandit on the top screen. The tube is able to hold three bombs, which can be dumped down a chute at either side of the bottom screen for one point each. A life is lost for each bomb missed. The game ends when three lives are lost. Safebuster was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. Topic Gold Cliff Gold Cliff is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on October 19, 1988. It is a dual-screen single-player Game & Watch with a light blue case and colorful printed metal plate on the cover. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. The player controls an Indiana Jones-type archaeologist character who is on a mission to acquire treasure. Stone platforms appear and disappear in a pattern, and the player must jump across them to reach a key at the top of the screen and gain entry to the temple. Action speeds as the game continues. It was one of only two Game & Watch games that included a continue feature, which allowed a player to continue the game, with a loss of points, from the last place where they were killed.
Topic Zelda Zelda is a game and watch game released as a part of the multi-screen series on August 26, 1989. It is a dual-screen single-player game and watch. It opens like a compact, with an upper and lower screen. Zelda was recreated in Game & Watch Gallery 4 for Game Boy Advance. It was also re-released as part of the Nintendo Mini Classics. Topic Mario the Juggler Mario the Juggler is a Game & Watch game released as a part of the new widescreen series on October 14, 1991. It was the last Game & Watch game to be released. It is a single-screen single-player Game & Watch. The gameplay is similar to that of the first Game & Watch game, Ball. Topic external links All Nintendo Game & Watch LCD Games Part 1 and Part 2 at YouTube